All right, we've got one break tonight. It's Obsidian Football. So, it's not going to take us very long, but we do have a little bit of information that we go over before we start ripping, so let's go ahead and get rolling with that. Feedback is automated. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get the same in return. That's a big win-win, of course. Gives us both a plus one. And, of course, uh, more importantly than that is to say thank you. Always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting, hanging out with me on this rainy Monday night. It might not be raining where you are. I've been pouring here all day. Better than snow, though. We're taking a look now at what's coming up in the days ahead. So this stuff is already listed on eBay. It's going to be ending over the course of the next several days. So tomorrow night, it's going to be a half case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets and a half case of Bowman Draft Jumbo Baseball. Both are the back half of a case. Wednesday night, we're going to start 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. We have two new releases that day. Origins Basketball and Bowman's Best Baseball. Origins will break by the half case. Those are loose boxes from a shared case. And then Bowman's Best, we're going to break by the full case. Thursday night, TriStar Autographed Football, like as in an actual football. And what else? More Bowman's Best. Oh, yeah, we're doing that back-to-back, -back, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday night, we will once again start early, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Leaf Best of Football comes out that day, we hope. You know how Leaf is, but as it stands right now, that's still what they're telling me. And then Optic Football. Both of those new releases come out on Friday. We'll crack into a case of each of them on Friday night. Saturday, we're going to do a lot of memorabilia and some National Treasures Baseball. So it'd be an autographed baseball jersey, a couple of Platinum Series autographed mini football helmets, those uh, cost about twice as much as the normal ones and apparently have really good hits in them, so we're going to give them a try. Half case of Leaf autographed football jerseys, a Leaf autographed baseball jersey, a Leaf autographed baseball bat, and then a case of National Treasures baseball. So that's how we're looking in the days ahead. Here's what you need to know about tonight. We've got just the one break. It is Obsidian Football. Should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Wednesday. Might even get it out tomorrow if uh, the force is with me, so to speak. But it shouldn't be any later than Wednesday. If you get skunked in this break tonight, you don't pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise. Your consolation card or cards will ship out when the rest of the break goes out, which again will either be tomorrow or more likely Wednesday. And it is a 12-box case. This is break number three. It ended tonight on eBay, Monday night, the 16th of December, same night that we are breaking it. Team names on the left-hand side, winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. Well, at least the user ID of the winning bidder is across from each team. And we're all paid up tonight. Isn't that nice? So we can just roll right along. One last little thing here. I'm going to throw the background out of focus a little bit, but I don't want you to worry about that because it's uh, really going to work out in our favor because it's going to let us see our cards up closer than we would otherwise be able to see them. I'm going to get a few sleeves on the table here, and then we're going to cut into this case and get rocking. See what we can find in Obsidian. This is a one pack per box product. So after I get all of the boxes themselves out, which I'm going to do here in a second, I'm just getting these sleeves laid out. Then we'll get all of our boxes out, get all of our packs out and all that jazz. And from there, then we'll start ripping into it. That way our gratification is delayed only once. Jay Allen is here looking for some Panthers. Stang Lover <laughs> is here too saying, please get some Panthers from Jay Allen. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try. Hi, David. How are you? David's hanging out with us tonight as well. Live. Probably some more of you too, but that's who's in chat. So this product, again, is a one pack per box, which I mentioned a moment ago. We've got four hits in it. They can be autographs, they can be memorabilia cards, or some combination thereof. All we know for sure is that we're going to have four per box. 
Now, Panini, you know how they are. They always say on average, right? And they say that because occasionally, very rarely, but every once in a while, they will mess something up and we won't get the number of hits we're supposed to get. So that kind of covers their butt, if you will. But more commonly what it means is that sometimes one or more of our hits might be replaced with Panini Rewards Points. If that happens tonight, we will get out those Rewards Points at the end of the night using random.org. Jeremy's here looking for some Falcons. Nicholas, hi Nicholas. Yeah, my Steelers yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is like the worst game I have seen us play offensively in ages. I mean, and Devlin Hodges up until yesterday had really looked pretty good at quarterback, especially to be an undrafted third string kind of guy. But, oh, brother, he killed us yesterday. Threw four picks, two of them in the end zone. So, yeah, the only reason we were in the game at all is because of our defense. So, boy, oh, boy, if we didn't plan to keep any playoff hopes alive there with my Steelers, we've got to win our next two games to get a wild card spot. We don't have any margin for error now. But, man, I was so bummed. <laughs> it's like, kind of put me in a bad mood. Stanglover said, then there are the times when they leave the relic out of a relic card. Oh, man, I didn't see that happen. Where'd that happen? And it was out. It was the RPA in Impeccable. Wow. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, that's dreadful. You know they would fix that, though, right? I mean... They would consider that to be a damaged card, of course. You could send that back to them, and they would fix that and or replace that for you, by the by. Well, Jay Allen, they haven't fired Mike Tomlin because Mike Tomlin has a winning record this year with a third-string quarterback. Our uh, loss of Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, our number one wide receiver, has missed a bunch of games to concussions and other injuries, as has our number one running back. We're down to <laughs> third string and practice squad guys in a number of positions, and he still got us, you know, potentially getting a wild card spot in the playoffs. So he's actually in the mix for being named coach of the year, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so he's not going anywhere. Number 225, the Kansas City Chiefs. LaShawn McCoy. There's always a couple of numbered things uh, involved with each of these besides our regular base. I'm just tweaking this ever so slightly more to see if we can even get a little bit closer look. I think that's a little better. And number 275, the man who beat me like a drum yesterday, well, on the team that did, Dawson Knox and the Buffalo Bills. Our regular base here, that's Gronkowski for the Patriots. The regular base in here is numbered to 125 all the way through in Obsidian. Okay, we've got the Atlanta Falcons, Calvin Ridley. I see some minor chipping down there, lower left maybe, or lower right, maybe upper left. It's numbered to 50, and you have a relic. That's going to be true kind of throughout, guys. We're probably going to have... Some chipping and wear on edges and corners, particularly on the thicker cards. Travis Homer, numbered to 25, Seattle Seahawks, with our first autograph of the night. Josh Gordon and the Patriots. That one is, oh, well, had it right the first time, numbered to 50 for Josh Gordon. And speaking of the Steelers, it's Deontay Johnson, number two, 154 my Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, Stang Lever, I don't disagree with you. It is a pain in the rear to deal with Panini, especially over replacements and uh, stuff like that. But if you're talking about a card, you said, you know, worth 500 bucks or whatever, I think I would want it fixed. <laughs> It's just me, man. 
Nick Foles to 75 for the Jags. Julio Jones, that is number 250 for the Falcons. Well, Chris has a good point, too. Um, he says Tomlin's never had a losing record, which is true. And also the Steelers just don't fire coaches. Caleb Wilson to 125 for the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, they just kind of run their course and then they retire. I mean, what if we only had, what, like three coaches in practically 100 years? <laughs> Not really 100 years, but it feels like it. I mean, you know, you had Chuck Knoll, you had um, Coach Cower, you've got Mike Tomlin. I mean, guys come and hang around for a while. That is numbered to 100. It is Michael Strahan with a relic for the Giants. Arizona Cardinals are up next, numbered to 25. You've got Christian Kirk, again, with some minor edge and corner issues there on the back. It's a Cardinals kind of run here with Andy Isabella coming out next. Was that numbered? Yes, to 150. And a Redemption, which we're going to set right up there in housekeeping. We will flip it over at the very end of the break. Joe said Panini offered a guy $20,000 to buy back his one-of-one one Lamar Jackson printing plate with an error. Really? Why? What do they want with it? That's weird. I don't know. Obsidian, Darius Slayton, 275 for the New York Giants. I love Obsidian. Don't you guys like it? I mean, I guess you do because you're in the break, but... I just think they're such nice looking cards and so different from the norm. Number to 25, that one's headed to Jay Allen, Christian McCaffrey, and the Panthers. The Bengals and A.J. Green have our base card numbered to 125. Wow, Joe, the guy said no to the 20,000 for the one of one printing plate. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man, that's crazy. David Montgomery to 100 for the Chicago Bears. Um, yeah, I would have taken that and laughed all the way to the bank. So we have, again, some edge and corner issues. They're minor, but they're there. So it's going to make Jay Allen happy, too. It is numbered to 25. You've got a DJ Moore relic coming out for the Panthers. Nick Bosa. To 75, that's a nice one for the 49ers. And then we got this guy, Ryan Finley, for the Bengals, number to 150. There are those who have argued with me that he is their franchise quarterback of the future. I still say Bengals are going to end up with the number one overall draft pick, and they are going to take Joe Burrow. <laughs> think there's any way that's not happening but I don't know maybe Brian Burns that's number 50 Carolina Panthers then we have Kurt Warner for the Cardinals numbered to 75 our base is the Kansas City Chiefs and Travis Kelsey to 125 Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, numbered to 75, Atomic Relic, another Dawson Knox, we saw him earlier, numbered to 75, you've got the Buffalo Bills with an autograph, and here come the Ravens again, Trace McSorley to 150, Patrick Mahomes to 25, Kansas City Chiefs, and it's signed. Oh, nice. Kansas City. Look at you go. That's a good one. Um, plates and patches. Uh, when does plates and patches come out? I can't remember the date. Does anybody remember the date? We haven't seen it yet, but I don't remember. I mean, yeah, I've ordered it, but I don't uh, know even what my numbers are on it yet. Number to 75, it's Amari Cooper 
and the Dallas Cowboys. Then we have Tunnel Vision, Lamar Jackson die cut to 25 for the Ravens. Our base card is numbered to 125. That's the Lions with the guy whose name I never say right, Tave, Tavai, something like that. Pittsburgh Steelers, Benny Snell Jr., baby. Number to 50, my man Benny Snell bringing you a very boring one color relic. Trayvon Mullen Jr., number to 150, ink for the Raiders. New York Giants, Nate Solder, to 50, to 100. Why did I say to 50? <laughs> I don't know. It's to 100. Let's try that again. Um, you don't pull him very often, and I kind of like his signature. I don't think I've seen his signature a whole lot. Nice looking. Miles Sanders to 75 for the Eagles. He had a nice game this weekend. Stang Lover says he needs Colts and Jets. Where are his Colts and Jets? Well, we will work on them. Right now we have a Jameis Winston, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, number 27. That is the white parallel, and it just so happens that we only see one per case. Mr. Leonard Fournette, number to 75, Jacksonville. Bengals again, Andy Dalton to 125 is our base. The Boys, they had a nice game this weekend for a change. Numbered to 100, Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys again, Michael Gallup, numbered to 75. Again, some minor edge and corner issues, but nothing too dramatic. Green Bay Packers, Jace Sternberger, number 275. A second redemption heads to housekeeping. All right, our numbered parallels, Steve Largent, Seahawks, to 75. And that is followed by the 49ers to five with your young rookie, Nick Bosa, who's had a very good rookie campaign. To 125 for the Vikings, that would be Randy Moss. Vikings again, Irv Smith Jr., number to 100, Relic. And, oh, look. It's Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Imagine that, back-to-back. -back. And that is numbered to 50, and it's a trio of relics. Oh, but we're not done. Here come the Vikings again. Three out of the four hits in this box. Vikings, number to 75, Alexander Madison. You go from famine to feast in one small little box there. To 150, it is Terry McLaurin for the Redskins. Chris, Chris, you said there haven't been any Titans yet. You think both redemptions are going to be A.J. Brown? Could be, but jo well, Joe, that's true. Drew Locke is also a redemption in there, so that is an equal possibility. Nicole Hardman Jr., Kansas City Chiefs, number to 50. It is a die cut tunnel vision, Matt Ryan to 35, Matty Ice for the Falcons. Our base card is the Texans, number to 125. It's Lonnie Johnson Jr., Devin Singletary, Buffalo Bills. Number to 100. Mr. Dwayne Haskins, number to 50. Washington Redskins, Relic. There comes a Colt Stang Lover. Got Dwight Freeney, wow. Traveling back. Numbered to 25 with Dwight Freeney and the Colts. And there is Redemption number three. Housekeeping's getting full up there. I have to get my little sleeves replenished there.
And we've got Jimmy G to 75 for the 49ers. The Browns and Baker Mayfield die cut number 225. And next up is Julian Love with our base card number to 125 for the Giants. Ray Lewis, Baltimore Ravens, relic to 100. All of them that are shaped that way are all relics. Haven't hit, had any shape like that that's ever had an autograph on it. Devin Singletary, number to 75, Buffalo Bills. Another redemption. We're up to four of them now. And Brian Westbrook. That's cool. To 50 for the Eagles. Oh, see there, Stang Lover? You don't have to wipe Freeney. So there you go. We added a new one to your collection. Number to 25, Matt Ryan, Falcons. The Chargers and the one and only Easton Stick, numbered to 75. Our base is Noah Fant to 125 for the Broncos. Patriots, Damian Harris, numbered to 10. Yeah, I thought that would be a decent looking relic considering it was numbered to 10. And it is. You got all four colors on there. Broncos, numbered to 150 with Winfrey, and behind it, unfortunately, is a points card. I know how you feel about them, I do too, but nonetheless, what are you going to do? It's setting up there in housekeeping. J.J. Arcega Whiteside, number 250 for the Eagles. Thing lover, I do not know if Joe Namath is a redemption. Charles said he got a couple of David Montgomery redemptions out of one. That is true. Jay Allen said you hit two A.J. Brown redemptions in it. Yeah, that's they do come out sometimes in bundles like that, unfortunately. The Broncos and John Elway to 75. Joe, you hit a Drew Locke. Rookie Jersey Ink Etch Yellow. Well, that's nice. Cam Newton to 10. Panthers going to Jay Allen again. To 125. It's Deontay Thompson and the Arizona Cardinals. Jason Taylor, Miami Dolphins, numbered to 25. That looks game used, is it? Does it say that it is? No, it just says player worn. I thought maybe it was going to be game used, but eh, no such luck. Jordan Scarlet. Now you've got your ink. Now for the Carolina Panthers, it is numbered 250. Another redemption. Holy mackerel. All right, so now we've got four. Um, why did I just go blank on them? Four redemptions. I called that redemption, didn't I? It's points. We've got four redemptions and two points. Justice Hill, <clears throat> numbered to 50 for the Ravens. We are on the last box, which means last pack mojo. Let's see, kids. Let's see what we've got in our last pack. San Francisco 49ers to 50. It's Greenlaw. A die cut for the Colts, numbered to 25, it's Hilton. Our base card, number to 125, is Ramsey for the Jags. Justice Hill, I thought I felt, oh, it was something actually maybe on the card. I don't feel it now, but when I first picked it up, I thought I felt a rough edge, but maybe not. It's numbered to 10. Big chunk of material there for Justice Hill and the Ravens. The Lions have Austin Bryant, numbered 225. The Lions, TJ Hawkinson, numbered 150. So the Lions go from bust to boom. How about that? 
And Riley Ridley to 75 for the Chicago Bears. All right. We got all kinds of stuff to do up here in housekeeping, don't we? Loads and loads of things to do. So here's how it's going to work. We will first flip our redemptions, check them out, head over to the Panini website, verify the team, see what, if anything, they are numbered to. After we accomplish that, I'm going to use random.org and we will give away our 250 points cards. After we accomplish that, we will recap the cards. After we do that, we'll recap the shipping information and all that jazz if you missed it at the start. All right, here we go. First around is Marquise Brown, not AJ Brown, but Marquise. Rookie Auto Electric Etch Orange. Ravens for Hollywood Brown. The second one is also Marquise Brown, Rookie Jersey Ink Electric Etch Green. Yeehaw, two Ravens. All right. Our third one is Dwayne Haskins, Rookie Jersey Ink Electric Etch Green for the Redskins. All right, we got one more here. And it is Noah Fant, Broncos, Rookie Jersey Ink. Okie dokie. Let's go. Well, all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do these first, then we'll do the points cards. We'll do it like that. All righty, let me get us over here to the right page first. How about we do that? I already had it set up with the product. I knew we'd find redemptions. We always do. All right, Rookie Autos Electric Etch Orange. Card number 20, the big 2-0. Marquise Brown, Ravens as we expected, will be numbered to 50. Our other one, Rookie Jersey Ink Electric Etch Green. Oh, wait a minute, that says Eruption. Oh, did I hit the wrong thing? I did, sorry. I needed Electric. I didn't need Eruption. I needed Rookie Autos. Hang on. I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go here to find Marquise Brown at card number 20. I didn't realize that. He's actually numbered to 75, so my bad, guys. Um, let me put that in a different sleeve because I already labeled that and I labeled it incorrectly. Sorry, sorry. I mean, Ravens is right, but I had written to 50 on there. It's really to 75. Sorry, sorry. All right, now we're looking for Rookie Jersey Ink Electric Etch Green. All right, Rookie... Jersey ink electric etch green card number 15 Scrolling scrolling Ravens that one is to 50. Huh, well, there you go. See <laughs> I could have saved the other one and just switched them out then couldn't I but no oh well too late now Dwayne Haskins rookie Jersey ink electric etch green. Is that the category we're already in rookie Jersey? Yes Card number three is Dwayne Haskins, Redskins, also numbered to 50. Then we're going to look up Noah Fant, Rookie Jersey Inc. is his card set. No anything after it. Card number 28. Mr. Noah Fant will be numbered to 150. Well, shoot, I missed that one up too. Well, whatever. <laughs> like... What is wrong with me tonight? I can't write. Hi, hi, hi. I wrote 50. It's supposed to be 150. So let me switch this one out real quickly. Now we have our points cards to deal with. And they're 250 points each. I'll flip you back here to me for a second. You can see them. They're right there. Meanwhile, let me just get all these out of the way. And I'm going to bring you along with me. This is a fairly simple process. Whoops, it would be if I hadn't hit the wrong button. <laughs> it would, what, what in the world? Why is it still doing that? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. That shouldn't have happened. Oh, I see what I did. Daggone it. Okay, 
Third time's the charm, I'm quite sure. There we go. Yes, aren't we all happier now? So, I am copying all of the team names here. We're going to buzz over to random.org, whereby I will paste them in. Whenever we have nine or fewer items, we do random three times. First two don't count. The third one makes the decision. When we have ten or more, as we do here in our list, then I do random one single time. So the first two, after I randomize, number one will get 250 points. The second team will get 250 points. Scrolling through here so that you can see all of our teams were copied in there, pasted in there. Good luck. Here we go. We are coming up Cowboys and Jags. So the Cowboys are going to get one of those. The Jags are going to get the other one. All right. Those are all labeled up. We're ready to recap it. It's recap time in the neighborhood. Ah, oh, Chris, we didn't have any love for your Titans. I am sorry, my friend. It's uh, never any fun when you don't when you don't hit. That's for sure. It's a lot more fun when you do. All right. So, it is the Bears, the Ravens, Dolphins, Eagles, more Ravens, Buffalo Bills, Vikings, Vikings, no, Ravens, <laughs> there was one Viking, then a Raven, now a Bill, I don't know why I thought that was the, I must have picked them up separately, I was thinking there were going to be like three Vikings right in a row, because that's how we pulled them, but I huh, guess it didn't stack them that way. All right, then you've got Ravens, Bengals, 49ers, Panthers, Bears, Arizona Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals, the Giants, Pittsburgh Steelers, Patriots, Seahawks, and Falcons. Next up, the Lions and the Lions. Nicholas said the last box saved you. It did, didn't it? Your Lions <laughs> held out to the very end. Ravens, Panthers, Broncos, Patriots, Eagles, Buffalo Bills, the Colts, and the Redskins. Now then, we've got um, the Cowboys got one of our points cards, the Jags the other. We used random.org to determine that. Our redemptions were Ravens and Marquise Brown to 50, Marquise Brown and the Ravens to 75, Dwayne Haskins Redskins to 50, Noah Fant Broncos to 150. Then we have got ourselves Redskins and Vikings and some more Vikings, some Green Bay Packers, the Cowboys the Cowboys, our case hit that is numbered to seven. The white parallel is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Eagles, the New York Giants, Raiders, Steelers. Stacked in the wrong spot, but you can look at it again anyway. <laughs> a die cut Lamar Jackson to 25, also stacked in the wrong spot is a cowboy uh, to 75, uh, but that's okay. We look at him again anyway, ain't gonna hurt anything. And then this little bad boy, Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to 25. Nice. Staying lover, you're Dwight Freeney. Um, I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. I, d I would have read it out the first time, but I didn't the recap time, so I gotta find it because I don't know the answer. So, let me look through these stacks and find it. Of course, it's going to be the last stack I grab. That's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> like, anytime you're looking for something, 
it's always in the last stack. It never comes out early, ever. Well, daggone, where is it? Ay, ay, ay. Hang on, my friend. I'm trying to find it. Okay, it is numbered to 25. The big 2-5 for your Dwight Freeney. All right, now let's recap our anticipated shipping date, etc. And what's coming up in the days ahead. If you missed it earlier, here's what you need to know. Should be out the door and on the way no later than Wednesday. Uh, might even get out the door tomorrow, but shouldn't be any later than Wednesday. If you got skunked in here, meaning you didn't hit a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail. It will have Constellation Carter cards in it, and it will ship out when the rest of the break ships, given that this is a paid shipping break. Now, in the days ahead, here's what it looks like. Tomorrow night, half case of Leaf Autograph mini football helmets, half case of Bowman Draft Baseball. Both are the back half of a case. Wednesday night, starting 8.30 Eastern at 5.30 Pacific. It's a new release night. We're going to open Orange Bat... Or Orange. <laughs> Origins Basketball by the Half Case. Those are loose boxes from a shared case. And we'll open a full case of Bowman's Best Baseball. Both of those are new releases for Wednesday. On Thursday, TriStar Autograph Football, an actual football. And more Bowman's Best by the full case. On Friday night, we'll start again at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. A couple of new releases coming Friday. Leaf Best of Football, we hope. And you always have to say you hope where Leaf is concerned. And then Optic Football. We'll open both by the full case on Friday night. Saturday, we've got loads of memorabilia and some National Treasures Baseball. Leaf Autograph Baseball Jersey. Some Platinum Autograph Mini Helmets. Yeah, those are cost twice as much as the regular one. Checklist is supposedly a lot better. We'll try it out and see what we get. A Leaf Autograph Football Jersey by the Half Case. A single Leaf Autograph Baseball Bat. And a case of National Treasures Baseball. And that's what Saturday looks like. All right, so that has me wrapped up for tonight. As always, I thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. And if I don't see you again tomorrow night, hopefully I'll see you again sometime this week. Got a lot of new stuff coming out. Should be fun. So enjoy your Monday night, and we will see you the next time. Bye now.